Hey everybody, it's Eric. I wanted to show you a setup uh, that I talked about in the last episode of the podcast uh, for a quantitative trend following strategy where I was comparing in the podcast, uh, taking the trade with, an, with a debit spread versus a leveraged ETF. Well, we just had a setup last Friday that we took and I wanted to just kind of show you visually what that look, looked like. So if you want more details, go back to the podcast for episode four. Um, you can do that in Spotify uh, Apple Podcasts, or I'm posting the videos here too. So whatever is best for you. Um, the name of the podcast is Stock Market Options Trading, in case you haven't figured that out yet. So check that out. But I wanted to show you what that looked like. And again, this is a quantitative trend following strategy. I have the strategy, not indicator, inside here in Thinkorswim. I'm going to put some details in the description if you want to get the code for this. Um, if you become a supporter over on Patreon, I'll give you the code and the training. But basically, we're looking at a a trend following strategy using the eight period uh, whole moving average. And what you see on the chart here is this flat line. This is the weekly whole moving average that is superimposed on the daily chart. I'm looking at the daily chart and we're taking signals on the daily chart. Um, and just as a reference, I have a rolling one year uh, look back on the strategy. So Basically, in the past year, the market is down about 2%, which is, pretty, you know, given the re recent crash, I think that's pretty good. Over the past year, the SPX is only down 2% as of today. But the strategy is up about 13%. So uh, what, what Thinkorswim is doing here is every one of these signals, it's buying $10,000 worth of SPX. And again, this is theoretical, uh, but it's buying $10,000 worth and then selling. And it is up 13%. So this is still outperforming the overall market versus a buy and hold. And what we talked about in the podcast was the slope of the moving average. So this uh, blue purple line here is the eight period whole moving average. And when it starts to slope down, it turns purple. So that is a sell signal, not to get short, but to get out of your long. We're not, we're not short selling anything here. And the buy signal was, is when it turns back up. So on Friday last week, the moving average started to turn back up. And this is when I bought the SPX debit spread. This is an at the money debit spread that I talked about in that podcast. And the market is up today. So uh, on Friday last week, now we, you know, I bought it a little bit before the close, but I essentially bought, I'm gonna go over to the trade tab here. Here's the trade. Hopefully you can, you can see this. I'm trying to make these short and quick for you guys, but uh, I basically bought five of the 2805 calls and these were about 14 days to expiration when I bought them. They're, they now have 11 days. Uh, and I sold five of the 2810 calls. So at the time, this was at the money. And you can see the trade price here. If we do a, some quick math here, 72 and a quarter minus 69 and a quarter was about $3. Maybe it was 305 So five of those would be essentially about $1,500. And right now we're up about $350 since Friday. And really all we're looking for over the next week or so is for the market to close above that sold strike, which is in this case, 28.10. Doesn't mean we can't close early. If the market were to roll over or something, that moving average would turn back down and then we would look to get out of the trade. Uh, but in the spread world too, we like to take profits and not maybe not hold till expiration. So Right now, this spread is worth about $4. So if I could get out for $4.50, meaning I bought something at three and sold for $4.50, if I can get out maybe later this week if the market keeps rallying, which is you know a whole other topic. I don't know why the market's rallying, to be honest with you. But if the market does rally and I can get out for $4.50, I would close that trade and wait for the next pullback in the setup. So this is just sort of a visual for what that last podcast episode was. I wanted to give you that example. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next video.